So hello everyone and very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 13th to 16th of August 2022. And during this period, guys, of course, all the departments of the government of India were busy in celebrating the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav and that is why the news are very less because the news related to Hargar Tiranga campaign and other celebrations of Independence Day are not required for the examination, right? So in all, there are eight questions in today's session for this period of 13 to 16th August 2022, all right? But all the questions are very, very important. Not even a single question is like that. Just come ignore kar sake, right? So let's begin with the very first question. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. All right. So let's talk about the very first question. Minister of Earth Sciences, who is Dr. Jitendra Singh, and he is also the Minister of Science and Technology, right? Has inaugurated India's first saline water lantern, which uses the sea water as the electrolyte between specially designed electrodes to power the LED lamps. You just have to name the lantern. What is the name of that lantern which has been launched by Ministry of Earth Sciences, right? So guys, the name of the lantern is Roshni. What is the name? It is Roshni and it has been launched by Minister of Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh. Now, why we are uh, talking about this lantern? Because it is India's first uh, lantern which is, using, which is using such technology to power the LED lamps, right? Kya technology is my user? Yeah, what is the technology they are using? So this lantern uses the sea water as the electrolyte between specially designed electrodes to power the LED lamps. So as you all know, sea water contains salts, right? Sea water mein kya hota hai? salts hote hai. and salts in molten state are the good conductors of electricity, right? So what will happen? Sea water will act as an electrolyte and electrolyte is a substance which can, uh, you know, which can drive the current between two electrodes and electrodes basically are the two uh, metal plates, right? So these are the two metal plates, let's say, and Abhi ye dono ko connected nahi hai. So with the help of sea water, the, these ele uh, electrodes can be connected because sea water are the electrolytes or sea water can act as electrolytes and they can conduct electricity, right? So this is the technology they are using in this lantern, which is known as Roshni and not only sea water, normal water mixed with salt can also be used as electrolyte in this lantern. And that is why this can be used in hinterlands where sea water is not available. Why? Because saline water or normal water mixed with salt can also be used to power the land. And this of course will give a boost to the Ujala initiative of the government of India, which was launched in 2015 under which the government is distributing LED lamps, LED bulbs at a very affordable cost. All right. So that is it. And now let's come back to the question. So the correct answer will be what option D Roshni because that is the name of the lantern which has been launched by Ministry of Earth Sciences. All right. So let's move ahead to question number two then. Very, very important question. Which of the following organizations has outlined a strategy to promote agri exports in the country? Hamare desh ke agri exports ko promote karne ke liye, usko badhane ke liye, there is a strategy which has been outlined. Now, you just have to tell the name of the organization which has outlined this strategy, right? So that is APIDA. APIDA stands for Agriculture and Processed Product Export Develop Processed Food Products Export Development Authority, in short APIDA. So this organization has outlined a strategy to promote agricultural products exports in the country and to achieve the target of US dollar 23.56 billion in financial year 2023. So that is the target. Do remember the target as well. What is the target of agri exports in financial year 2023? So that's 23.56 billion dollars. All right. Now, what is the strategy? So let's talk about the strategy, what strategy they are using. So these, uh, these points you can use in your descriptive examination. Chahe essay mein agar koi, uh, related aa jata hai, to aap lik sakte ho or in any answer writing, in any uh, question from ESI and ARD, you can also write these points, right? Agar agri exports ka aapko koi point likhna pade, to. So number one, 300, 300 events will be organized under the plan in the current financial year to promote the agricultural exports across the country. Number one. Number two, awareness generation among the stakeholders of the agri exports will be done through various events, right? Moving ahead, 
इट हैज बीन प्लान टू एस्टैब्लिश अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड रेगुलर कनेक्शन विद एक्सपोर्टर्स फार्मर्स एग्री ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स फूड प्रोसेसर्स एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट मेन स्ट्रीम पब्लिकेशन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चैनल बेसिकली विद द हेल्प ऑफ लाइक न्यूज पेपर्स आर्टिकल्स लाइक विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैगजीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यूज चैनल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोशल मीडिया राइट सो उसके थ्रू इनके बीच में कनेक्शन बनाया जाएगा द कनेक्शन विल बी एस्टैब्लिश बिटवीन ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स विच आर देयर इन द एरिया ऑफ एग्री एक्सपोर्ट्स राइट इसके अलावा अ लिस्ट ऑफ पोटेंशियल मार्केट विल बी डिस्प्लेड एट वेरियस सोशल मीडिया हैंडल सो दैट दी स्टेक होल्डर्स कैन हैव द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दीज मार्केट्स राइट क्विक अपडेशन ऑफ इंपोर्टिंग कंट्रीज रिक्वायरमेंट द कंट्रीज विच आर द मेजर इंपोर्टर्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया उनकी जो जो रिक्वायरमेंट्स होंगी उनके जो लिस्ट होगी उसको जल्दी से जल्द अपडेट किया जाएगा क्विक अपडेशन ऑफ इंपोर्ट कंट्रीज रिक्वायरमेंट्स विल बी डन राइट अ प्रोग्राम विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर एग्री प्रोन्योर्स टू हार्वेस्ट एक्सपोर्ट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फ्रॉम डाइवर्सिफाइड एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक जोन इन इंडिया ओके Talking more about the strategy, so orientation program will be organized to create awareness among the agri preneurs about GI products, right? About GI products in the northeastern region. Iske alawa, it has been proposed to form an association of GI registry owners for better coordination and to bridge the link between GI stakeholders and the government. All right, and finally, it has been proposed to make a video and infographics content about the. Uh, about the success stories of the agricultural exporters all right so that is all about this strategy and now let's come back to the question the correct answer is option a apida i hope guys this question is clear apida has outlined this strategy for promoting for boosting agri exports in financial year 2022 23 moving ahead to question number 3 consider the following statements with respect to parameters formulated for performance based incentives to states and uts under ayushman bharat digital mission for the number of entities that the respective states or uts register and verify within a stipulated period so i hope you all know this ayushman bharat digital mission under which government is uh, making a digital ecosystem about the health facility about the health facilities which are available across the countries and about the health care professionals and about the health care professionals so these this is the dual objective of this particular scheme ayush bharat ayushman bharat digital mission okay yes, government is making a digital ecosystem about uh, where the where all the electronic data regarding all the health facilities and health care professionals will be available to all the citizens of the country right so under that uh, national health authority which is the implementing agency for this mission is now providing incentive to the state governments uh, for listing out the entities on the ayushman bharat digital mission portal all right so let's talk about this news national health authority has announced performance based fund allocation to states and uts for implementation of ayushman bharat digital mission and of course it has been done for more effective implementation of this mission right now this is nothing new ये जो इंसेंटिव है ये कोई नई बात नहीं है पहली बार नहीं दिया जा रहा है इससे पहले रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ हैड बिन डिमार्केटेड फॉर एस्टैब्लिशिंग एबीडीएम ऑफिसेस एबीडीएम मतलब आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन ऑफिसेस एट स्टेट्स एंड यूटी लेवल ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव इयर्स दैट इज फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स फिफ्टीन फाइनेंस कमीशन का जो पीरियड है राइट एंड आउट ऑफ दैट फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ हंड्रेड करोड़ वर अलॉटेड फॉर incentives to the state governments and the ut governments but now the national health authority has decided to extend this incentive in the uh, uh, extend this incentive in the form of you know jo states or uts honge jo wo register karenge apne healthcare professionals ke bare mein aur health facilities ke bare mein uska bhi unko incentive diya jayega right so it has decided to extend the current fund allocation based on the performance of respective states and uts in terms of number of entities that the respective states and uts register on the portal now what is the meaning of number of entities here what is the meaning of entities entities ka matlab like number of doctors number of doctors and nurses and other healthcare professionals and number of uh, primary healthcare centers secondary healthcare centers and other health facilities right so entities ka matlab yahan pe ye hai 
Now talking about the parameters based on which the incentives will be provided. So number one, rupees hundred will be provided for verified entities in health facility registry and healthcare professional registry till thirty first December two thousand and twenty two. Right? Uske baad wo uske baad wo aadha ho jayega rupees fifty for each verified entries in HFR and HPR that is health facility registry and healthcare professional registry between the first January two thousand twenty three till thirty first March two thousand and twenty three. And after that. No incentive will be provided, which means after 31st March 2023, no incentive will be provided for this purpose. All right. So that is all. And now let's come back to the question. You have to identify the incorrect statement out of these three. Rupees 200 for each verified entries in health facility registry and healthcare professional registry till 31st December 2022. This amount is not 200, guys. It is rupees 100. So this statement is incorrect. And rupees hundred for each verified entries in HFR and HPR between first January two thousand twenty-three uh, till thirty-first March two thousand and twenty-three. Again, this is correct. This amount is this is incorrect because this amount is rupees fifty. And no funds will be allocated for entries verified in HFR and HPR after thirty-first March two thousand and twenty-three. This statement is absolutely correct. All right. <coughs> Therefore, the correct answer is option A, <coughs> only one and two. All right. So I hope this news is clear. And now let's come to question number four. Very very important question again. Name the campaign launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And in the last question, do you remember who is the CEO of uh, National Health Authority, Doctor Ram Sevak Sharma? Doctor R S Sharma is the CEO of National Health Authority. Do you remember this also? And now, Baja, question number four. Pe. Name the campaign launched by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, headed by Mr. Mansoor Mandavia, to focus on the cognitive developments of children in the first thousand days of its life. जो children के बच्चे के पहले हजार दिन होते हैं, उसके cognitive development के लिए this campaign has been launched by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So the name of the campaign is Palan 1000 National Campaign, and there is an app which has been launched, which is Palan 1000 Parenting App, right? So, talking about this campaign first. So, this campaign focuses on the cognitive developments of children in the first thousand days of its life. ठीक है? पहले हजार दिन जो होंगे बच्चों के, उसके ऊपर ये focus करेगा उनके cognitive development के ऊपर. And how how this will be done? So, this will be done by providing early years coaching, right? Early years coaching for parents, families, and all the caregivers for the children. जो भी बच्चों के caregivers हैं, parents हैं. फैमिलीज हैं उनको अर्ली इयर्स ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड कराई जाएगी ऑन हाउ दे कैन हाउ दे कैन टेक प्रॉपर केयर ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन इन दिस फर्स्ट थाउजेंड डेज ऑफ देयर लाइफ राइट इसके अलावा दिस दिस प्रोग्राम दिस कैंपेन इज अलाइन विद राष्ट्रीय बाल स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम इंफेसाइजिंग रिस्पॉन्सिव केयर एंड फोकसिंग इंटरवेंशन ऑन दी फर्स्ट वन थाउजेंड डे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट दिस कैंपेन इज फोकस्ड ऑन सिक्स पिलर्स विच आर maximizing love towards the children talk and engage explore through movement and play read and discuss stories mothers engagement with the child while breastfeeding and managing stress and staying calm so these are the six pillars uh, on the basis of which this campaign palan 1000 has been launched right now talking about this app which is palan 1000 parenting app so it will provide caregiver with practical advice on what they can do what they can do in their everyday routine for child development in these first 1000 days of children's life right and it will help in resolving the doubts of the parents and the caregivers regarding how they can uh, you know how they can provide better care to their child okay that is it and now let's come back to the question so you just have to name the campaign so that's palan 1000 option c is the correct answer It is not Palna one thousand. It is Palan one thousand, right? So please don't get confused here. Moving ahead to question number five. Name the portal launched by the Ministry of Jal Shakti, which is headed by uh, Mr. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, right? And his Lok Sabha constituency is Jodhpur in Rajasthan. <coughs> to promote livelihood opportunities along the Ganga Basin by promoting Earth Ganga Initiative through tourism, right? So three important initiatives have been launched by the Ministry of Jal Shakti under Earth Ganga Project, right? So what is this Earth Ganga Project? First, so Earth Ganga Project was uh, launched by Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi under Namami Gange Program. 
नमामि गंगे प्रोग्राम के अंदर अर्थ गंगा प्रोजेक्ट को लॉन्च किया गया था एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज फॉर डेवलपिंग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट मॉडल फॉर हार्नेसिंग द इकोनॉमिक पोटेंशियल नियर गंगा राइट सो इट इज फॉर डेवलपिंग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट मॉडल विद फोकस विद फोकस ऑन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू गंगा गंगा के रिलेटेड इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज के ऊपर फोकस करते हुए सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट को फोकस करना दैट इज दब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस अर्थ गंगा प्रोजेक्ट राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनिशिएटिव विच है अर्थ गंगा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज अ पोर्टल विच हैज बिन लॉन्च विच इज नोन एज आई एम अवतार राइट इट इज अ टूरिज्म प्रमोशन पोर्टल राइट इट इज अ टूरिज्म रिलेटेड पोर्टल लॉन्च टू प्रमोट लाइवलीहुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज अलॉन्ग दी गंगा बेसिन बाय प्रमोटिंग अर्थ गंगा इनिशिएटिव राइट एंड बोथ एन एम सी जी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन फॉर क्लीन गंगा एंड आई एम अवतार वुड वर्क टूगेदर इन द फील्ड ऑफ टूरिज्म बाय प्रमोटिंग स्पिरिचुअल टूरिज्म एंड रिलीजियस टूरिज्म नियर द गंगा बेसिन राइट मूविंग अहेड टू द सेकेंड इनिशिएटिव दैट इज नोन एज जलज सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ मोबाइल लाइवलीहुड सेंटर इट इज a mobile livelihood center launched at 26 locations across the country out of uh, 75 identified locations right and it has been launched with an objective of aligning the skill enhancement activities with ganga conservation <coughs> ganga conservation ke sath skill enhancement activities ko collaborate karne ke liye this initiative has been launched which is known as jalaj right and as i told you it has been launched at 26 locations out of the identified 75 locations across the country uh, in the in the states in the ganga river basin states right which are of course up bihar jharkhand uttarakhand and west bengal jahan se ganga river flow karti hai it is being implemented in association with wildlife institute of india and wildlife institute of india has created a trained cadre of ganga praharis this cadre is known as what ganga praharis so wildlife institute of india has created a trained cadre of ganga praharis from among the local people for biodiversity conservation and ganga rejuvenation right and then there is an mou which has been signed between nmcg and sahkar bharti sahkar bharti is the only organization in the country which works for the welfare of cooperators and cooperatives right so under this mou these are some of the activities like number 1 <clears throat> Identification of 75 villages in those five states, जहाँ पे गंगा flow करती है, to be designated as सहकार गंगा grams, right? Promoting natural farming among the farmers, FPOs and other stakeholders, facilitating market of natural farming, organic produce, and finally promoting people river connect through economic bridge. Because हर जगह यहाँ पे economic uh, terms में हम बात कर रहे हैं, because all these initiatives have been launched under Arth Ganga project, which is for harnessing economic potential uh, of the areas near River Ganga. All right. And now let's come back to the question. The correct answer to this question is I am Avtar. Option B is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number six. Name the port platform launched by the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India to promote collaboration between industry and the scientific research and development ecosystem. Right. So this is. A, a platform or a portal which will provide collaboration between the industry and the scientific research and development ecosystem right and it has been launched by office of principal scientific advisor and it has been developed in collaboration with nseit nseit which is the wholly owned subsidiary of national stock exchange nseit right and the name of this portal this uh, platform is manthan right option b is the correct answer and who is the principal scientific advisor to the government of india it's mr ajay kumar sood ajay kumar sood is the principal scientific advisor to the government of india option b is the correct answer question number 7 bal aadhar initiative has been launched by the government to issue aadhar to children it will help children and parents to avail multiple benefits for which age group of children the bal aadhar will be issued bal aadhar kaun se एज ग्रुप के बच्चों के लिए है बेसिकली दिस दैट इज क्वेश्चन सो इट इज फॉर दी चिल्ड्रन ऑफ द एज ग्रुप ऑफ जीरो टू फाइव इयर्स ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सीपीएसई सेंट्रल पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस विल बी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन इंडियन मिनरल्स एंड मेटल इंडस्ट्री ऑन द थीम ट्रांजेक्शन टूवर्ड्स टू थर्टी टू थाउजेंड थर्टी एंड विजन टू 
so this cpsc guys is national mineral development corporation limited option c yeah option c is the correct answer all right so that's it for today's session i hope all the uh, questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next session on monday okay till then goodbye take care and god bless